The brush tool in Autodesk Graphic gives you the ability to create more artistic and organic looking lines with dynamic strokes that will respond to pressure sensitive drawing pads. Here's just a few tips on how to use the brush tool to create great looking line work in Autodesk Graphic. First I'll select the brush tool from the tools panel and then I'll adjust my brush settings. You see that we also have saved brushes that we can choose from. There's some preset brushes for you to get started, but you can also create your own brushes with the width and angle that you like, as well as the contour. And you can save these so that you can recall your favorite ones later on. I'll quickly create my very own here. I can add a new node to this contour graph by double clicking, and I want it to be thick in the middle and almost all the way in the corners on either side. This should give me a nice tapered line that's heavier in the middle than it is on either end. Now I'm using a drawing pen with pressure sensitivity. So I'm gonna make sure that I have this use pressure ticked right up here. The smoothing percentage here can also help us create much more clean lines so you can adjust this to your liking. Next I'll set my line width right here and start the outline of this pencil sketch. So you see how this will respond now to the pressure of my hand on this drawing tablet. The harder I push, the thicker and heavier the line is, and the lighter I press, the thinner the line is. Now, of course, this is still all vectors, so I can go in and tweak every little bit of this that I want by adjusting the nodes. You can also adjust size of your strokes after the fact. For these short little lines, I'm going to take off the pressure and just use the fixed width. And I'm going to load a brush that I created earlier. Remember, this is all vectors, so you can actually just pick up a line and reposition it however you want. That's the beauty of illustrating in a vector program like Autodesk Graphic. Thanks for watching.